People are rushing to invest in gold. Prices up as never seen before. And here's ABC's John Berman. The partisanship, politicking, and lack of progress in Washington might already be taking a toll on your personal bank account and 401k. The stock dropped today, the first sign investors are saying, we're mad as hell and we're not going to take it anymore. The impatience and the frustration is clearly getting there. Wall Street has a way of voicing its displeasure and it's downright ugly. Remember September 2008 when Congress failed to pass a bank bailout? Stocks cratered nearly 780 points that day. 3.5 million for sale, bid on a million. We're not there yet, but there are other unnerving signs. Call it a canary in a gold mine. Gold prices are skyrocketing, closing above 1,600 for the first time ever, 500% higher than 10 years ago. Why is this troubling? It's investors betting there will be bedlam, no solution to the debt mess. Fearing a market meltdown, gold is seen as a safe haven. The same concept of taking the money out of the market and putting it under your mattress, investors are uh, taking money out of the market and putting it straight into gold. Those ads on TV explain the new age gold rush. Listen to that. That's the sound of security. Earlier this year, the University of Texas even put $1 billion of their endowment into gold, literally storing more than 6,000 gold bars in a vault. And these prices are one of the key signs to watch the next two weeks. If gold prices continue this day after day after day increase, it means investors really are betting on something close to a meltdown. And also, U.S. Treasuries. They're usually considered one of the safest investments, but if investors stop buying them, it means they feel there really isn't much left that's safe. So Diane, these are the early warning systems. The canaries in the gold mine is like right. all Thanks so much, John.